What to do about black ants is what we're talking about today. On, I'm going to start again. What to do about black ants is what we're talking about today on Termite Talk. I'm joined by Alan Ferguson from Conquer Termites Northside. How are you, Alan? I'm particularly well, John. Thank you for asking. Yeah. And your good self? Oh, fabulous, mate. Superb. Always a pleasure to spend time. But anyway, I digress. Black ants. Let's talk about black mm, ants. Well, black ants. Black ants. People, people have a bit of an issue with black ants often, um, particularly um, after it's rained. Why, do, why is that? Well, pretty much we get plenty of rain, their house floods, so they move into our house. It's as simple as that. Oh, okay. So black ants, then you're saying, are normally in places that might be a bit sort of subterranean or low down or whatever, mm -hmm. and a bit of water floods in. They're on the move. They are indeed on the move. Uh, often that will happen just before the rain comes. And ants are very clever. They can actually tell when rain is coming. Um, far, probably with a little bit more reliability than the Weather Bureau from time to time. Okay. Um, but they know that that's coming. They feel that change in, in atmospheric pressure. Yeah. Apparently is how they, they do it. And, uh, and they know that they need to migrate fairly quickly into your house to survive. Mm. Oh, okay. Now, otherwise we've talked about termites and cockroaches mm. and other types mm. of pests and, and around the house, but is there anything intrinsically we need to be worried about? I mean, what's the worry with black ants? Uh, Just the aesthetic? It, yeah, it is more of an aesthetic thing. I mean, you, people get a bit annoyed when they see trails of ants uh, um, cavorting around their kitchen. Mm. Um, and, you know, to some degree, they're tidying up any little crumbs that you may have left behind. Um, the, the issue, moreover, with, with black ants is that the colony sizes are, can be quite enormous. Mm. And so there are lots and lots and lots of them. Um, and it just, it just gets a bit annoying when, uh, uh, you know, um, mum or dad's just finished cleaning up the kitchen and the next thing you've got a trail of ants. Mm. And they've found a few more scraps uh, hidden away. Yeah, okay. Now what to do about black ants then? Can't you just go get your domestic spray and mm. Obviously, you'd like them to call you, but what's the what's the proposition? Why get in the? Well, you, okay, you can use you know a surface spray, but they, they will just simply go around it. You know, you'll kill a few, and they will find a different path um, and continue to annoy you. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between the products that are available to to registered pest controllers as opposed to the homeowner. Um, we, you know, we'll use a, a non-repellent spray. All the, all the sprays that you have at home, uh, you know, spray cans or whatever, are repellent chemicals. If you spray it on something, it's pretty much dead. Mm. Um, but everything else stays away because they are repellent chemicals. Okay. They've got the opportunity to walk around them, as you said. Absolutely. Whereas you're in the business of actually knocking those pests on the head. Sure. So we, we would around a house spray with a non-repellent. So this is a chemical that they cannot detect. They're not repelled by, they traipse through it, pick up the active and then share it with their mates. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's around the perimeter of the house and then within the house we use a gel, a gel that's in a food matrix. Mm -hmm. uh, so they come charging through the first chemical to get to this food. Um, th within that food is, is a, a very low toxicity um, uh, active that is then once they consume it their gut enzymes turn it into something that which is somewhat more uh, toxic oh. and so they go ten toes up. Now then again black ants like most ants waste nothing so when you uh, are sick, old, whatever they knock you on the head and then suck all the juice out of you. So that active is then transferred to the next one and oh, the next one and so the that's next one. the nature one. of how an actual nest can be knocked on the head with Correct. the use of a, an active product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so the, again, that's, that's the, 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 the benefit, I won't call it the beauty, the benefit of uh, non-repellent non chemicals and chemicals which are in food matrices. So, mm. Mm. Oh, fabulous. All right, well, that's really informative, and that's yeah. obviously a great reason to call Conquer Termites and also. How do they do that, Alan? Well, if you'd like to call Conquer Termites, our phone number is 3356-8801 or pop us an email or at briz, B-R-I-S dot north, N-O-R-T-H, at conquertermites.com.au. Oh, fabulous. Okay, great information about how to do with black ants. Today on the Termite Talk, we'll talk to you next time.